Our commitment is to keep you informed constantly. The KFDX3 and Texoma's Fox Weather Team is Texoma's Weather Authority. Now, from KFDX3, Texoma's Weather Authority with Chris Boone. Well, welcome back, Texoma. Mostly sunny skies expected as we go throughout the day. Maybe see one or two clouds. In fact, well, that's basically what we're seeing on one of our tower cams. Again, just a few cloud covered clouds out there. Otherwise, we're going to continue to see those mostly sunny skies as we go throughout your day, really getting into the afternoon. That's when the temperatures start to push back up into those upper 90s and near triple digits for us. Uh, as a result, we'll have those heat advisories going into effect for the afternoon. That will go in effect at noon and continue through the afternoon and in towards the evening hours as temperatures will warm back up into the triple digits once again. Winds, though, those will start to pick up more out of the south. And again, the potential for some of the gusts up to 25 miles per hour. So really looking at a bit more breezier conditions across the area for the afternoon hours. Quiet conditions on the satellite and radar. Really just a few clouds out there. And they, again, mostly sunny skies expected through the majority of the day. The heat advisories across all of Texoma, uh, all the excessive heat warnings back off towards the east uh, in towards parts of eastern Oklahoma and Texas with a little bit higher dew points uh, than what we're seeing here in Texoma. Temperatures starting off into the, right around the 80 degree mark, a low 80s for us, 81 degrees for Henrietta, Wichita Falls, uh, Walters up and towards Lawton, a couple 70s on the map as well, 75 in Bowie and a pair of sevens for Altus to start off your Tuesday. Though most of us hovering right around 80 degrees, we'll start to see those temperatures begin to climb here over the next couple of hours. Winds out of the south, 10 to 15 miles per hour. So again, right now, not seeing those gusts too high, but as you get into the afternoon and towards the evening hours, we'll see the potential, some of those wind gusts getting up to 25 miles per hour. So just a tad bit breezier as you get in towards the afternoon hours. That'll be welcome news if you're headed out to the pool. Again, a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of sun, uh, perfect summer-like temperatures. If you are headed out to the pool, just make sure you're drinking water and grab that sunblock because again, ample sunshine expected throughout the area. We'll look at temperatures to reach into the triple digits uh, into that two to four o'clock time frame. We usually start to see uh, kind of the peak heating of the day. 104 for your afternoon high. We'll see the winds picking up as you go throughout the day into the afternoon hours. Gust up to 25 miles per hour. And then for tonight, again, mostly clear skies as those breezy winds will continue even into the evening hours. Normally those winds kind of die back down after sunset, but uh, likely to see it stay a little bit breezy even to the evening and overnight hours. As you look ahead towards the end of the week, and well, what most, most, most people are looking forward to are the cooler temperatures. That cold front uh, stalled out to the north of us. That's going to pick up a little bit more energy and movement as you go in towards the later evening hours on Thursday, kind of late for 4th of July, but that'll bring in some of those rain chances, that cloud coverage, and some of the cooler temperatures as you go in towards your Friday. That's going to start off the weekend with a little bit more of a cool down for us as those scattered showers kind of continue across parts of Texas for your Saturday, and that'll start to clear out as we go in towards Sunday with drier conditions to start off next week. So a little bit of rain, certainly welcome news, but again, it's going to be the impacts of the rain, the cloud, and that cold front dropping those temperatures back down into the 90s. So getting a little bit of a breakup of these triple digits. We'll see the temperatures cool back down into the 90s to start off next week.